Hello guys, this is AM and welcome to the new series Applicative Algorithms and today's algorithm is Longest Common Subsequence and the application is File Difference Duo. So, if you have ever used GitHub or any version control system or for the matter any file difference tools like WinMerge, you will be knowing what I'm talking about. For the ones who do not know, this is how a file difference works. But what is the common scenario? Why do we use it? Let's say our file is under version control system and we want to see what are the changes we have made since the last commit. So this is exactly what we are dealing with right now. The algorithm behind this is longest common subsequence as I've already mentioned. But first let, let us define what is LCS. The longest common subsequence is the problem of finding the longest subsequence common in all the sequences of set of sequences generally two mm, quite confusing right but let me put it this way let me give few examples and hope you'll understand what this means okay before we dive into the video this is the final application which we are going to build this is a two part video series where the first video this is this we will be learning the brains behind the application that is the algorithm itself and we will be also looking at another concept called shortest edit sequence in the second part of the video series we will be using this algorithm and integrate with our python script to develop or create a html markup page which looks something like this I'm interested and let's get started. We want to solve the longest common subsequence problem using dynamic programming. But first we need to find the recursive solution to this because a dynamic programming idea doesn't give us the solution itself. Rather it gives us a, a way where we can make the solution more effective once we have it. So this is the example here. The sequence A is B, C, D, A, B, A and sequence B is A, B, C, B, D, A, B. Okay, let's consider these two sequences. The longest common subsequence in these two sequences is B, D, A, B and the length is 4. So this is the longest length we can find in these two sequences. But the sequence itself, which is BDAB, is not always unique. So let's see here. BDAB are the elements which we are considering in the A and B sequences. In this B sequence, we can either consider the B at the index 1 or our index 3. Given the longest common subsequence length, the actual sequence itself may or may not be unique. In longest common subsequence, we have few observations to make. So let's take another example which is quite simpler to understand and get straight to those observations. A, B, C, D, A, B, C. So the long, longest common subsequence in these two is A, B, C. So if you can see, first we are matching the elements at index 0. If these matches, we are just concerned with the rest of the portion of the remaining part of the both sequences. It's fair enough to conclude that if the two sequences start with the same letter, it's always safe to choose the starting letter as the first character of the longest common subsequence. Because we always looking or maximize the length of the resultant string and also there uh, there is another observation which we are making here is once we decide upon the f matching character we are just concerned with the rest of the portion which is very similar to what we have done with the previous character in the both strings so it is a recursive program so rather than finding the subsequence itself it turns out that Finding the length of the subsequence and then finding the subsequence itself is more efficient. So let's do that first. This is the recursive program to find the length of the longest common subsequence. 
the first if statement is just the base condition where it where we are checking the end of the string of the both the strings so in the second if statement we are checking if the characters in the both string are equal so if the both the characters are equal we are increasing the counter so we are doing one plus and calling the calling the remaining portion of this so this will be here as acting as a and this will be here and it will be acting as b this is very similar to the structure recursive program structure which we have dealt in a recursive program videos as well if you haven't looked at i'll link in the description below in the third in the third else statement we are checking if the character itself is not equal so if the character is, itself is not equal if we, we, as we are trying to maximize the output we are calculating the maximum length of the two strings which can be divided uh, the both and differently so that is if we have a string b c d and c d we can we have to check the longest common subsequence of the both strings as longest common subsequence of b c d I'm sorry for that uh, longest common sequence of B, C, D and D and C, D and C. So we have to find both separately and then find what is the maximum among the both and then add it to the resultant one. But to the, with the interest of time, I don't want to iterate over the full uh, recursive program because it is very time taking and also very inefficient pause the video and you can uh, uh, like trace the program but if you do that you will understand that you have to uh, calculate the same uh, sub problem you are dealing with the same sub problem uh, like multiple times but that is why the recursive program in this uh, program is very inefficient because as calculation we are doing more over and over again so to reduce that where you have to go with the dynamic programming approach so we can just look up to the sub problem solutions which are already evaluated and stored this is called memorization or dynamic programming so if you are at cell 1 comma 1 what is the longest subsequence we can find uh, it is very simple we have to see if the both characters are equal a and B are not equal so we have to just find the maximum of I minus 1 or J minus 1 so from this position I minus 1 index is this and J minus 1 is this so the maximum is 0 And if you have observed, this is very similar to the recursive program approach as well. In the recursive program pseudocode, uh, the last if state else statement, if the characters are not equal, we are finding the maximum of the remaining portion of the string. As this dynamic programming approach is bottom up, we are coming from the bottom. So let's look, go to the another cell. So other than a cell, we still have a non-equal character so we have to find the maximum of the both sides of the two of the cell so it's zero and we still have a and c which is not equal so it's zero and we have a and a now the character a here and a here so these two are equal so if we are equal let's map it with the pseudocode we have if that is equal we are increasing the counter by one with the a plus 1 and b plus 1 right there so is this this is the uh, this is the dynamic approach so we will bottom up right so we will be doing a my i minus 1 and j minus 1 the cell which we are looking at is uh, j is 1 right so i minus 1 and this minus 1 is equal to 3 and 0 so 3 comma 0 is this so 3 comma 0 is 0 and plus 1 gives us 1. Let's see another next character. Next is A and B. It is not equal but we have to find the maximum of these two. So the maximum is 1. And then we have A and A which is again same. So we have to find this element plus 1. The diagonal element plus 1. So that is 
1. Then we go to the next row that is B. So first character itself matches. So we have to find uh, the diagonal element that is the cell we are, which we are at is I equal to 1 and J equal to 2. So I minus 1, J minus 1 is equal to 0 and 1. 0 comma 1 is this. So it gives us 1. So then we match with D. It doesn't, it is not same. So we have to find the maximum between the two that is 1 and C that is 1 and B that is 1 and we have the same character so if the both the characters are same we have to find the horizontal and horizontal L cell and add it so it gives us 2 and we have this different character now and it gives us 2 because we are finding max of 2 and 1 that gives us 2 I hope you understood uh, the problem let me fill up this okay so this is the final dynamic programming table which we have so the interesting cell is this interesting cell is this because this is a cell where we are considering whole two strings so it comes as four that is this is the longest common subsequence string length but how to find the subsequence itself very simple we have to find from where we, this four has come so this four has come either of this or this uh, the, but because it doesn't matter let's choose this one and now we have to consider this character so this character is B and also here also we have B so this must have come from this index so um, let's draw another character and let's choose this number B and this goes into the set LCS and now we have we are at this location and we have to check if the uh, characters both characters are same that we have A and here also we have A so we must have come from this number must have derived from this horizontal so let's add A also to the uh, to the set and then we have D and C as it is not equal we can choose either of one let me choose this horizontal for uh, consistency and then we have D and D as this is same we have to go horizontally up and then add D to the set and now we have B and B so as these both are same we have to choose this C and as we have reached a null set we can end this so the final LCS characters are B D A B I told you that we, we will be coming across another concept called shortest edit sequence shortest edit sequence is nothing but the shortest um, uh, shortest additions or deletions which we have to do in order to convert a string to another string so let's say we have string A and B as we are developing an application which uses a file difference we have to uh, know this shortest edit sequence this is very simple shortest edit sequence says that um, we have to find the shortest path from 0 0 to I, uh, length of string A and length of string B that is this last character so uh, it says that every horizontal move is nothing but deletion in the uh, file A and every vertical up uh, move is addition in file B. As we have stopped our solution here, let's trace back till 0, 0. So as uh, so we have reached this J equal to 0 column. So we just have to move up until we reach 0, 0. That means these are all the additions which we are doing to convert A to B. So let's see how, what are the horizontal uh, moves we have done. We have done horizontal move here and we have done an, another horizontal move here and we have done uh, yeah that's it and these are all vertical up. 
So that means, oh, let's make put this way, and that means we have to add A, B, and C characters to A, and remove the A and C in order to convert A to B. So this is the main algorithm and logic behind file difference LCS and CES longest common subsequence and shortest edit sequence so we will be using these two algorithms and implement a python script which can mark up to something like this and I'll see in the next one